up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon 5-3. Man, I'm back again, man. It's still part two, man. It's part two of the video from yesterday. Part two, y'all, you know? Part two, man, on my dissertation of letting the youngsters know what they're going to have to face if and when they go behind that wall. Because like I always saying, it's a whole lot of y'all doing a whole lot of things that's going to take you behind that wall. And like I tell you all the time, prison like Motel 6, man, it's going to leave a light on for you. Straight up. Man, I was talking to one of my partners today. Talking to one of my partners today. Young man. Been down 32 years straight. They put him in prison at the age of 14. And he been down 32 years straight. He had life without. He got the life without up off of him. And they still won't let him go. The man, the man ain't had a, a disciplinary no type of uh, rule infraction in like 15 years. Went up for parole about six months ago and they set him off. Five years. Set him off again. Talking to him today, man. And if you think that that's a place where you want to go, where when politics kick in, see, when the politics kick in, you ain't got no win. The powers that be are going to do to you and with you whatever they want to do. Now, here in Alabama, politics is wrong because right around this gap, um, they trying to build a new prison. So they don't want to let nobody go. They trying to build a new big giant mega prison. So they want to keep everybody in. Everybody. And well, now I ain't gonna I'm not I'm not gonna speak on that. I'm not gonna speak on the rest of that. Cause I was gonna I was gonna say something about about the governor and some people, but don't even worry about that. But anyway, um on to what the uh what 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 the dissertation is gonna be about. Now I gave y'all yesterday um how fools be tripping. With that shower, you know, in in Alabama, in Alabama prison. What I told you about how they be tripping the shower. Now I'm finna tell you about how fools be tripping in the cell, in the cell, in the cell that you live in, in the cell that you have been assigned to by the police, where you might think that this is your refuge, that this is your 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 home away from home. This is your getaway. Sometimes when the madness is going on out there in the day room, up and down the tier or whatever, you can go in your cell and get away from the madness. If you believe that, you are sadly mistaken, my friend. Sadly, sadly mistaken. Straight up. Um, It's so many things that you're going to have to go through dealing with this cell. You know, if you ever get, and, and this is in every state. This ain't just no Alabama. This is in every state. If you think because this is your assigned cell that uh, you it's automatically going to be uh, all good, you sadly mistaken, homie. Sadly mistaken. One of the best things that you can hope for when you're in a prison that's not a dorm setting, but it's got cells is that you get a celly that you compatible with, that you get a celly that you real cool with. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you just come into prison. Now, you know, you got a lot of old heads that been there, done that a long time. They might not have to go through the ups and downs and shenanigans that somebody just coming in going to have to go through because they've been there. They've made, they've made their bones. You know what I'm saying? People know who this person is. And um, nine times out of ten, ain't nobody coming up in that cell unless they want them in that cell. You know what I'm saying? Because it was <clears throat> it, it was like that with me. After after I'd been in the Alabama prison system for a minute, they didn't put no anybody in my cell. They knew better than that. 
They knew better than that. They would look if I if I didn't have a celly when the chain came in, they would they would try to fill up every other every other cell before they even fooled with mine. And if it, when it got to the point where they had to put somebody in a cell with me, they would call me down to the shift off. Man, send cartoon down there. Now I'd get down there. Yeah, man, what's up? And I told y'all about this in another video before. And I'd get down there like, what's up, man? They like, man, Toon, we got to put somebody in the cell with you. Hmm. I'm like, all right, man. They like, man, look, they they right there. Now at this time they used to hold them in the um in the in the barber shop, big glass windows. You could walk by, see everybody in there. They like, man, go. On. They, you know, they right there in the barber shop, man. Go ahead and find you one, man, because we got to put one in there now. I'm like, all right. Now, I'm not saying I'm a big bad tough guy, and um they had to do what I said do no. Because when push came to shove and they had to put somebody in that cell, they were going to put somebody in that cell, whether I liked it or not. But on the flip side of that, put them, if they put them in there and I didn't approve of it, then they can get ready. Because now the ball's on my court. And I'm uh, I'm finna shoot a I'm finna, uh, I'm finna shoot a jumper three-pointer. You know? So I, you know, I go and look like, hey man, what's up, man? What, what you know? I want to know. You first off, I want to know the first thing I want to know. Do you smoke cigarettes? No, I right, cool. What are you? You know, I want to know your gang affiliation. Boom. I, right, you know, a couple other questions. I'm like, hey, we'll check that. I let them know. Hey man, they finna put you in the cell with me, homie. Are you straight? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Come on. Now you know sometimes that worked. Sometimes it didn't. Sometimes a person, uh, you don't, you don't look. You don't really know them, a person. Unless you know them prior to that. But if you don't, you don't really know what you're getting. Because you know, dudes, like I say, they put on a mask. You know, you can go two, three days, everything cool. Then when they get comfortable, they start they start pulling stunts. They start doing weird stuff. Now you be like, oh man, no, this fool got to go, homie. He got to get up out of here. He has to go. Out this cell. Point blank. And that's a that's a whole nother that's a whole nother thing you 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 can get um you you can deal with because man a lot of sometimes they'll put somebody in your cell and they a natural born killer too they a natural born go getter they might be coming down from another's prison and they just as rough rugged and raw as you are now they up in the cell and you man you gotta man this ain't working homie you gotta get out <laughs> even with dude turn around tell you man I ain't going nowhere you get out. <gasps> <laughs> what? <laughs> Do tell. And they're off. <laughs> you know, whoo, man, been there, done that. Been there, done that, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in prison ain't no punk. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you got all type of shenanigans, man, you gonna go through, man. Here it is. You, you youngster just coming in. I'm gonna let you know now. When you 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 just coming into prison for the first time, man, and you and you get put in one of them cells. Now off the rip, the dude, whoever the dude is in the cell, I'm gonna tell you their mindset. That is their cell to them. You moving into their house, and nine times out of ten, they gonna let you know off the rip that you are moving into their house. They finna give you the rules of their house when you come up in there. What they about, what they not about. You know what I'm saying? What's going to go on in here? What ain't going to go on in here? And here it is, you knew. So, you know, you looking like, dang, all right, you know, I don't, I don't call no ruckus. You know what I'm saying? Been around, I don't even know who this dude is. I don't know what he about. None of that. You feel me? He lying to have 15 knives up under his bed. <coughs> you don't even know it. You moving into a cell with a dude who can have all type of weird hangups, man. I'm talking about all type of weird hangups. I'm gonna show you one one of the one of the main things that threw me about the Alabama prison system when I first got locked up out here. Their cells what are, are what we call marriage suites. A marriage suite is not your uh, is a is a prison cell with the bed side by side. You on your bed up against this wall, <laughs> they bed up against this wall. Conventional cells. Have the, the up and down, top bunk, bottom bunk, where you ain't got to lay down and look at a fool. 
The beds in Alabama, no. Now here it is. You in prison for the first time. They put you in a cell. Uh, you coming into prison, five foot seven, 160 pounds. They putting you in a cell with a fool dang there seven feet tall, 320 pounds. Y'all lay down to go to bed that night and you laying like this here and you just happen to open your eyes up and look and you look over and um, you got uh, Ares, the god of war, with his eyes open looking dead at you. <laughs> what? You you what? <laughs> you like, man. And now here it is. You don't want to roll over and face the wall because now you got your back to him and you don't know what's on his mind. Do you feel me? All that crazy stuff. Man, you got dudes, man, that be up in these cells, man, and they have been locked up so long. They have become so institutionalized that they have picked up um, what you call OCD. Everything has to be speak and span neat. I, I raise my hand to that one right there because I, that turned into me. Uh, everything has to be in its place. All that, all you know, all of that, all of that. Um, beds got to be made, floors got to be swept, toilet and sink got to be clean. Uh, cosmetics got to be laid out a certain type way. TVs turned a certain type way. If you're in a prison that can, you can have TVs in your cell. You can't have them in the cell in Alabama. Um, all that. And here it is. You coming in, man. You kind of, you, you young. You might be a little junkie. And now they on your head every day about it. Man, you, man, you got to, hey, man, man, come on. Hey, man, this, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. Now they want to do something to you, you know, and we'll do something to you. Yeah. They might, you never know, man. They might move you in the cell with a real live creep, a real live creep, man. You know, you got a lot of dudes, like I say, if they, they like messing with them boys. So now here it is. You come every, you come to the cell. You might be in the day room. Now you want to go run, get, uh, get your cup, your drinking cup or your eating bowl or something out the cell. You get to the cell, um, Wham, pull a door open, and man, you got a fool in there making an OnlyFans video <laughs> with another dude. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you know, hey, it happens. Man, you now, now you in your mind, man, I hope they don't get on my bed with that mess. And sometimes they will, man. Yeah, you got to worry about all that type get out. They on your bed. They on your bed doing the horizontal bump. What you going to do? What you going to do, youngster? Because now you know, you already know he got that big old long knife up on his pillow. You seen it. And he going to use it on you if you open your mouth. So now you got you to gotta shut up. Or you got to go get you one and get him first. Now you don't go home when you're supposed to go home. You're going to go home years and years and years later now. All that. You got some dudes, they like to gun the female officers down. Uh, for those who don't know what gunning is, they like to peek through the crack of the doors or peek through the little window in the door and masturbate. And masturbate on the, wind, on the female guards. You got some of them so creeped out, they peeking through the door, masturbating on the male guards. Now, you might not even know this is going down. You come to the cell real quick and pull a door open to go in, and he's sitting in there with uh, John Henry in his hand, going to town. <laughs> what? You never know. So now, in your mind, you like, man, what is he doing when I'm asleep, is he looking at me? <laughs> you don't know. The weirdism.
You never know. You might get some of them little, you might get some of them little young gangbangers for a celly. Now here it is, you ain't a part of nothing. But now you don't now you don't, but now they didn't put you up in a cell with the little with this with these knucklehead, with this little young knucklehead. You, every time you come to the cell, he got six, seven of his homeboys in the cell. They on his bed, they on the sink, they all on your bed. Ain't no need if you talk about, hey man, you know, I can't say nothing about, you know, having your company in the cell, homie. But uh, if it probably can you tell them, don't get on my bed. They don't look at you like, man, bust the close that door. Get on out of here, man. We in here having a meeting. Oh, we kicking it. What you going to do? What you going to do? Because now you know when you when you, when you go at them, you going at, you going at the whole game. You know? Uh, What you going to do when... You in a cell with a dude and you catch store and you come back and uh some of your your, your cookies and, and cakes and candies missing. Now you're gonna wonder if somebody been in here? Ain't nobody been, you gonna go to cell, hey Sally, man, ain't nobody been in this, ain't nobody been in the cell. You gonna go, you gonna go, you gonna go, you gonna go to uh to your cell, man, Sally, ain't nobody been in the cell, have you? No, not that I know of. What's up? Man, some of my some of my commissary missing, man. Some of my store, my canteen missing. I don't know, man. I don't know. Now, it's going to get to the point where you know he lying. He the one eating your stuff. What you going to do? What you going to do, man? Because now in the back of your mind, you, you know, you like, you don't want to confront him. Cause if you confront him and he and, and he take it there, and you ain't equipped to, to go to go round for round, pound for pound, you finna get a B team. Now once the B team is done, now he gonna start taking your stuff outright. What you gonna do? Do you got it in you to pick that pick that that Yokonama up and see what his insides look like? So you can do another extra fifteen years in prison. It's a catch-22, homie. You danged if you do, you danged if you don't. What you gonna do? What you need to do is stay out of there. Don't go in there. You know? Now, on top of that, here it is. You might get a silly that what we call a house mouse. A house mouse is a dude that don't never leave the cell, man. You don't get no me time to yourself, period. Because he wants to be in the cell all the time. Reminiscing, radio on, reading books or whatever, or just, just want to be in there. And now, you tired of looking at him. So you like, man, God, dang. So are you going to be man enough to tell him, hey, man, you know, you know, let me get in here some, man. You know, let me, let, let me get in here a little bit. Cause you don't know you you don't know if he gonna snap on you or what, and sometimes he might, especially if he ain't got no respect for you. Cause you just now coming to prison. He see he see your prison number. He know you're a new booty. Bump you. It's my cell. It's my house. I live here. I've been in this. I've been in this cell twenty years. You don't come in here telling me nothing, trying to run nothing. You go for what I say. Do. What you gonna do, man? What you going to do? I want to know what you going to do. Huh? And I mean, you know, it, 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 it get, it get, man, it get, it get deeper than that, man. It get deeper than that. What you going to do when you in the cell and you wake up about three in the morning because you hear some strange noises. Um, 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 um. You're like what? Yeah, what's going on? When you finally wake up and look, man, yo, Sally over there, uh, 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 going to town, going to town. Be like, what? Why you in there? What you gonna do? 
It's the ultimate disrespect, man. That's the ultimate disrespect. See, now, when you get to the point where that happens, you never know. He could be trying you. He, he could be trying you. Because if he do that while you in the cell, he know he disrespecting you. And if you ain't if you ain't willing to get up and bust him in his mouth, or, 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 or put that uh, put that 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 blade on him. Now he gonna start getting other thoughts. Now he gonna start thinking, well, shoot, if I can get away with this right here, what else can I get away with? You know, now he's gonna start looking at you funny sideways. You know, his conversation gonna start changing towards you because now he's stalking his prey because you don't want to do nothing about it. You might be scared to get beat down or stabbed. You don't want to stab him and you do not want to catch no more time to where you're going to be in there for another 10 years. So what you going to do? <laughs> run to run to the police? Uh, could you move me? Could you move me to another cell? <laughs> Poor little new booties. Poor little new youngsters coming to prison. Should have stayed on the streets, homie. Should have stayed on the streets. Living with your girlfriend, your mama, your grandmama, or whoever you was living with. You should have stayed out. Because now you have been put into a world where don't nobody give a F about you, man. Your mama ain't in there. She Ain't nobody in there to wipe your snotty nose or... Kiss your boo-boos on your hand when you scrape your elbows and knees. No. Don't nobody care nothing about you. Your head can fall off. And don't nobody care. Period. So I know some of y'all in y'all mind like, shoot, man, I'm a I'm a uh, uh, I'm a I'm a crip. I'm a blood. Uh, I'm a I'm a GD. Uh, I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a vice lord. I'm this, I'm that. So they not going to care half the time. You're going to have to watch them sometimes harder than you watch the so-called enemy go. Boy, y'all going to learn. You going to, y'all, you y'all going to learn the hard way. Run y'all stupid butt on up into that jailhouse, man. You know? Yeah. <sighs> You get put in a cell. You get put in a cell with a dude. He don't want you in there. But he ain't got it in here to tell you he don't want you in there. So now what 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 the low what the low life the coward going to do? Now he going to set you up. Put some weed in your bed. Put a knife under your bed. Do something and then drop a kite to the police. Hey, man, come search at this such and such time. He got such and such in his bed. He usually keep it under the mattress. So now here it is. Here it is. Count time or lockdown. Dude sitting over there reading a book. You, uh, you sitting on your bed writing a letter and the door open up. Here come the police putting on gloves. Telling both of y'all, step out. Step out? You know, what's up? They they tearing the cell up like they like it's a random, like a regular random search, but they really beamed in on you because of this note that been dropped on you. They gonna search his stuff too. That's just, you know, boom. But now when they get to yours and roll the mattress back, now you got a knife this big. You 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 looking like what? Man, what? You don't know nothing about it. Don't make no difference. In their mind, you know something about it. It's yours. To lock up, you go. Now to court, you go. Come on, we got some more time to give you. Yeah, you got to deal with that aspect. And it happens. It happened to, that happened to me. On that one right there, I'm speaking from experience. That one happened to me. The only thing, the only, the only silver lining at the end of the cloud for that one was that they didn't take me to court. I received a disciplinary and I went to lockup for a minute too. 
Um, the court case, I guess, was like a, a DA reject or something. But I, I didn't go to court on it. I didn't get no extra time, luckily. But I did go to lockup and did get wrote up. Because the dude didn't want me in there. Now, I know a, a lot of y'all want to go get in the comments. Tune, what you do to him? What you do to him? That's a story for another. That's 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 the story for another day. Boop. Homie don't play that. Anyway. So now these are some of the shenanigans that you're going to have to go through, man. When you live in in them cells, when you in them cells, these are some of the sales stuff that you're going to have to go through, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of y'all gonna come up in there, youngsters. I seen youngsters come in there scared to use the bathroom, take a dump in the cell while they celly was in there. You have to get over that, man. You have to get over that. You literally, I'm look, youngsters, look, y'all. You literally in a six by eight cell, little bitty box. The toilet sits right here. Now you got some dudes, they don't they done hooked the they done hooked it up to where they got a string that comes across and it hangs it, but they can take the string and, and hook it over here on this side, and they'll take a sheet and hang it over, you know what I'm saying, where it can block off and partition the little toilet so you can sit there and take a dump in peace. He ain't gotta see you, you ain't gotta see him. But now you got some dudes that been down so long, man, they don't care nothing about blocking nothing. No, it's nature. It is what it is. You might be sitting in there talking to them and they just go to the toilet and just whoop, sit down. <laughs> like, man, what? <laughs> you know, you got to learn. Some dudes got, you got to learn. Okay, while he dumping, if you laying on the bed, put, if you reading the book, take your book, fold the page up, sit the book down, uh, and you turn over and just face the wall until he finished taking the dump. Do you y'all think y'all can go through that right there, man? All that crazy type stuff, man. Can y'all go through that, man? Huh? Can you go through that? Because that's what you're going to go through. Why you going to go through it? Because you didn't want to stop doing in the streets what you was doing. Because you want to fit in with the homies. I'm going to stay down. I'm finna slide. I'm finna ride. I ain't no punk. All right. You ain't no punk. Don't be no punk. You know, I don't want you to be no punk. Do what you do, man. If you can have, I'm just letting you know when you do what you do and then white folks get their hands on you. Don't cry now. Stay down for your grits and gravy, man. Don't let your skin get tender because somebody going to tenderize it. Letting you know. That's I'm just scraping the paint. I'm just scraping the paint on some of the stuff that goes down in there living in these cells, man. It, 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 it's so much other stuff, man. It's so much other stuff. Because now you can best believe, man, you get to fighting in them cells. Say, let's say you get to fighting in them. You might, man, you might get to fight. It might be two o'clock in the morning. You in the cell at the end. Man, the, the police in the queue sleep. Don't want to be bothered. Now you get to you get to bump it. Now you got some dudes when they y'all get to fighting that it ain't got no understanding. Once they flip that switch and they mad. <laughs> They going, they going, they, 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 they going for the execution. What you going to do when you in that cell and you and your celly get into a physical altercation and he coming with that thing and you ain't got one. What you going to do? Ah, police. Ah, ah. What? Now you just put yourself in the whole category. Now you just put yourself in the whole category. And a lot of times that is how he's going to treat you from there on out. You one step away now from wearing a pair of panties. 
Yeah, you one step away from wearing a pair of panties now. Hey, man, why even go through it? Why even go through it? Now, guess what? You could tell yourself, man, Toon ain't talking about nothing. Shoot, he did it, I could do it. Shoot, if he what make him think he's so tough that he can handle it, and I can't. I'm down too. All right, you're right. You write you down too. You write you down too, man. Yep. Well, go on in there and do like Toon did. I mean, you know, you know, go just keep running the streets and do like Toon did. Spend almost 40 years of your life behind bars. If that's what you want to do, you want to be tough like Toon, well, then go on in there and do it then. Keep doing what you do. Because I spent almost 40 years of my life behind bars. I wasn't on the street with none of my kids. And I was not on the streets when not one of my kids was born. No. I wasn't on the streets for not near one of my kids' birthdays until I got out this time. And all my kids was fully grown. Not one birthday never, ever was I on the streets for with my kids until I got out this time. So if that's the road y'all want to take to be down, to be hard, then take that route, man. Take that route. It's the route I took. It's the route I took. You know, yeah, I took that route. Yeah. Guess what, dummies? I regret taking that route every day of my life. I regret taking that route every day of my life. And if I could give it back, I, I would give it back. So, you know, at the end of the day, you ain't got to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? You can just look at this video as entertainment, man. Oh, that's just Toon talking entertainment. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to put something in the algorithm. All right. Cool. I know I ain't going to reach all y'all. I know I'm not going to reach all y'all. But if I just reach one, if I just reach one, I did my job, man. I did my job. Tonight when I get up, when, tonight when I hit my knees and I pray to the almighty father above and I tell him, I say, man, look, I tried, God. I couldn't reach them all, but I did reach one. God gonna tell me, you did good. My, well, you did, you did well. You did well. Because the one I might reach, even though I only reached one, that one could possibly go on to reach thousands. We never know. But anyway, man, it's me, man, your big partner, Cartoon, 5'3". And like I tell y'all all the time, man, stay safe, man. At the end of the day, stay above ground. Stay above ground, man. Represent the gangsters, homie. Peace. I'm out.